Well, well, my friends, what's going on, everyone? RC84 here, like always. Thanks for watching. As you see, I got a box here on the table. This, my friends, is uh, the PRC X, uh, QX4 Miniature Rock Racer. Look how sweet this little rig is. Now, uh, I don't know exactly scale-wise what it is. I want to say it's a 1 16th, but it could be a lot smaller than that, uh, honestly just really don't know but here's my hand here's the vehicle as you see the kind of uh the, the size of it now uh let's talk a little bit about it i mean it looks like an axial wraith the kind of the whole setup that's going on with it up here in the interior we got some seats uh we got dash and air steering wheel uh on the outside we got this really cool uh paint scheme going on we have this blue gray and white uh with some decal stickers on it Look at the little tires here, my friends. Pretty awesome little beefy tires. Really cool rims as well on it. So, yeah. Now the flexibility, as you can see, the flexibility is outstanding on this little thing. I want to say maybe about three to four inches of uh, height right there on the flexibility. Just really cool. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the front here. We actually got a digital servo on here. Uh, it's the P71002 uh, from their company brand uh, attached to the axle, which is really cool. Uh, we got the shocks here, which are very super soft. I think these are actually damper shocks. I'm not exactly sure. I don't think they really actually take oil or anything. Uh, so yeah, turn it around here in the back. As you see the really cool scale axles there, look at that. That is pretty awesome. A lot of detail in this vehicle. Let's take a look underneath of the vehicle and show you what's here. As you see, we got some brass uh, ball joints here that's attaching all of the uh, the links together. It's got an actual four link system on it too. There's our little miniature drive shafts right there. And up in here is the transmission and the motor. And our ESC, which is actually right there. As you see right uh, <laughs> right there my friends if you see that now another thing is right here on the back that is actually a sound unit it has like this v8 uh sound unit in it motor sound unit which sounds really awesome now let's talk about what all comes with this uh crawler because it is an rtr means which just means ready to run so over here is all the stuff we got all right, so first off, we got the uh, the manual for the truck, which actually shows everything, the breakdown method, the part numbers, so if you need to get parts for it, you can do so. That's pretty awesome. Then we have the controller here. It's a 2.4 gigahertz multifunction three-in-one radio system, which just means it is the ESC, the, uh, the servo, uh, and the electronic unit in there. So. And uh, let's talk about that controller because that is really awesome for this vehicle here. So here it is, 2.4 gigahertz pistol grip controller. Takes four AA batteries, which is down here in the bottom of the, of the uh, controller. Now the really sweet thing about this is that it has a digital screen. So you can adjust your throttle, your steering, uh, your DR. Uh, also controls the volume of the uh, sound unit, which we'll be testing out here in just a little bit. Now let's show what's else. All right. So here's the battery for it, my friends. It's a 7.4 uh, 550 milliamp 20C two cell LiPo charger. Very small little battery, but it's a LiPo battery. It's awesome. Uh, we got the, uh, the charger for it. As you can see, USB charger. Uh, kind of give you a good, uh, uh, there you go. Let you see the uh, input and output of it. Now they also include some part bags here. So we got some uh, extra parts and some shock spacers here. I kind of adjust the, the shocks on it. And we got some Allen keys right here to work on the vehicle. And then we have this really cool little screwdriver that used to tighten up the, the screws. It's got an Allen key head on it. Now it looks to me like this, uh, this screwdriver can actually pop off and change out to other ones uh, just with a simple of an Allen key right there, see? So it's really nice that they sent all that stuff with it. And so, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and plug up the battery and test this thing out. 
and uh, see what it's all about. All right, so hang on with me, guys. All right, everyone, so I got a little bit of a crawler course going on to kind of test out the crawlability of the vehicle, which I'll be doing another video on the uh, on it outside, but just inside here is the little course. Now, you're asking probably, what is this stuff? I honestly don't know. It's like, like cardboard that's been like melted up or something. This is actually for a garbage disposal that I had to install in a uh, customer's house there. And I saw this and I was like, this would probably be a really good for that crawler coming in. Uh, just kind of test it out. So I decided, hey, why not use it? Use you know, stuff that uh, you know I don't have to buy or whatever. So uh, yeah, <laughs> all right. So I got the uh, the battery plugged up, which is right here in the back. It inserts right into the slot, like so, and put it in there. Now I want to point this out because uh, I didn't you know when I first got it, I was wondering where's the on and off switch for it because I couldn't see an on and off switch in all the videos I've ever seen no one actually uh, told or show where it is and so when I was looking around I was like is it a plug and play do you put the, put the battery in it comes on automatically uh, what and uh, I started re looking around and didn't see anything I had to just, you know I took the top off, looked at the ESC, made sure the wires were not crossed over or anything. And then finally, after an hour, I found out where it is. The on and off switch is right here between the seats inside the cab. So you push that down. So first off, I'm going to turn up the remote. Turn on, turn it up, <laughs> turn on, turn on the remote. There you go. All right. Now we turn this on. All right. So we got it. So let's test it out. And there we go. I love that little V8 sound, it's really cool. Not much space to work here on the workstation there, you know, so kind of have to back it up without trying to make it fall over. Not too bad for its little size here. It actually does pretty good. <laughs> no problem for that little sucker.
nice flexibility, my friends. A lot of flex there on this thing. That is crazy, the flexibility on that slope. five seconds and all might just shuts off kind of like I guess you're stalling out so all you gotta do is just push the trigger starts up That's it, my friends, for the uh, PRC little crawler here. There goes my phone, always. <laughs> so yeah, my friends, awesome little crawler. So uh, if you definitely like to get one of these, uh, you can go over to uh, eBay, Amazon, uh, Wish.com, Bango.com. Uh, a lot of different places offer them. Price range looking at about $100 to $140. Uh, really depends on where you actually get it from. I know Banggo, uh, Banggood, I think it's actually Banggood, <laughs> uh, has them for like uh, $108 uh, with free shipping, which of course is coming from China. So it takes a few weeks, or for like additional $5, you can get it sent within like five to eight business days. So, really awesome little. Uh, <laughs> crawler here uh, so definitely something to have you know if uh, you know you can sit there and crawl inside your house you know whatever or outside yeah, so uh, yeah <laughs> so uh, that's it my friends so thanks for watching and uh, please like this video subscribe to the channel if you have not uh, and uh, yeah so uh, <laughs> alright guys I will see y'all later <laughs>